everybody. I wanted to come in today and uh, do a song on Billy Eilish, uh, I Love You. Um, starts off in an F major 7 chord. Great uh, way to kind of work yourself through it is I always like to start with this hand and then we'll talk about the right hand because it is picking. And we do have one of these for you guys. I'll make sure that it's posted at the end of the video as well. I'm not sure how good you can see that on your phones or whatever it is you're using. Uh, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about how to read it and count while you practice through the tutorial live. Um, so I always like to start, it does have a lead in note where it comes in with four and three and then starts. So we get this four and one E and a two E and a three. Well, let's talk about this hand for a minute where we're gonna take fingers two and three and just teach them to go up a string and back down and hold for a bit so you learn some muscle memory so right now I'm on fret two and three and I'm on strings three and four we always count from the bottom up and then finger ones on the very top string here and basically what we're going to do is try to teach our hands some muscle memory so it remembers what to do when we play the song these are great tricks to help you get through different um, chord progressions and changes. So I try to do this lots with my students um, when we're working together depending on what uh, song we're going through and where the troubled areas start. So great you guys can work on that for a bit get it going really good. Another great exercise is trying to lift finger one off and put it back on when you go to the F. Off for the C chord this is C major 7. And when I bring these two fingers down to strings 4 and 3 and put this finger here it's an F major 7 with an 11 in it. Um, that gives it that cool sound. So now the picking hand part, if we're starting in this F major 7, um, basically we are picking, I'm picking string 6 and 2 together, and then 4 and then 3 and then 1, and then 4 and 3 and 2, 4, 3, 1. Four, three, two, four, three, one, four, three, two, four, three, one, four, three, then we change. Picking the same way, other than our thumb goes down a string. So the whole idea of it is understanding when to change. A great, a great method to work picking hand, uh, left hand and right hand together is maybe sitting on our F major seven and doing things like this. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a back to the F. That's a lot of work. I mean, I've been, I've been uh, playing a long time, so to get through this song and remember all the changes, it's kind of nice to have the singer with you. But that first part goes five times, if you wanted to know. And like I said, I will have the chart at the end of the video posted for you. You can take a screenshot or just watch it on your phone or whatever it is you're using and try to pick your way through it. Just remember that the first two notes are ringing for one E and uh, slow would be something like one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E. Sometimes it's nice to use the heel of your palm resting it on the bridge. Some people like to pick with their pinky there and, and keep your, your hand stable so that you can be more accurate with your fingers. So a couple of tricks there to maybe help you pick a little bit better. I tend to pick with my fingers behind my thumb like this more. Some people I do see picking like that. I was trained to always pick this way when I took classical guitar. Um, so that's kind of the method I learned. So I would recommend that way. Maybe you guys are already picking this way and it works. I find I can do more if I do it this way for things like drumming and tapping. So that's why I kind of keep these back and then I can always get my thumb in front and I can do lots of 
of things like this, which I'll show on some tutorials as well. Um, for now, I want to get through this one. So that's pretty neat working on that F major 7. And the C major 7 is the same picking other than we're going to bring our thumb to string 5. We're going to pick 5 and 2. And then 4, 3, 1, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 1. And finger 1 and 2. Finger 1's for string 4. Finger 2's for string 3. And finger 3 we're going to use for strings 2 and 1 when, whenever we need it. We know when to make the change because we'll use the counting method of 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E. So I hit the bottom string twice there. I have to do it again. So 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E. there was I did two counts of four and then I made my change to the C major seven and I picked five and two instead of six and two to start and the pick picking pattern stayed the same for the next two counts of four. I'll play it through once where it starts on five and two together and we get one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and Nice song to learn how to pick with, and I would take your time, maybe start with a count something like, I'll play it through a couple times, really slow, and you guys can maybe pick along, and I'll start the count so you know when we're going to start. I'm not going to do the lead-in notes. So the lead-in notes come in on and a, so it would be like and a one. But I just want you to get used to the idea of the song. You guys can throw that in after. You could be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E. That's how the song would start. Let's skip the lead-in notes. I'll do a count in and we'll get ready right on our F to pick these two strings when I say one. So one E and a two E and a E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E. It's a slow count, build a lot of muscle in your hand trying to hold those strings down and keep them ringing is the hard part. So hopefully you've played for a bit. And if not, take your time with that because it will build strength. I would do maybe 10 minutes a day of just one E and a two E and a three. take these two fingers up and pick the exact same way other than my thumb is on string five. Five, four, three, one, four, three, two, four, three, one, four, three, two, four, three, one, four, three, two, four, three, one, and then back. All right, guys, I hope that helps you. Remember, it's a count of each chord is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a two times. And we change the C major, 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and, and change again. So we get this motion with the picking idea. Um, the next half, after he comes out, maybe some good strategies would be too, is trying to just get the picking good on one chord. So 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E. same way. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. So I'm going to finish the, I'm going to say I'm on my fifth time and I'm going to go into the next part where we get this um, 
I'm going to go around the progression once into uh, the next part of the song, the build-up part, where they go uh, get heavier within the song. Um, <laughs> So let's talk about this second part. We're back on the F major seven, but we changed a few things. We're now picking six and three. And then we're picking six and three together, and then four and five. The second time I'm picking three, four, and six again. So we got six and three, strings four, string six, then string three, then four and six. And the count would be one and a two and a. Then we're going to pick six and two together. And then after six and two, we're going to pick three and four. I'm looking at my chart, making sure I'm explaining it right. Here's where it gets tricky because now I need this F still. So I'm going to use my thumb and bring finger one down to string two. Still picking two, three, and four after the first one. So six and two, three, four, two, three, four. Now my pinky goes down. Still keeping my thumb there. Still picking six, two, and then three and four, and then two, three, and four. So six and two, three, four, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go to a G chord, picking the same way. Now I'm going to drop these three strings down to one, two, and three. I'm picking six, one, six and one together, two and three, and then one, two, three. And then I'm bringing my pinky down to the bottom string like that. It was on two while finger one was on string one over here, fret one. Pinky down, picking six and one together, and then two and three after. So six and one, two, three, one. Two, three. And the whole thing would sound like this. tutorial and we can fit that in because it only goes through that one build up part does it one time and then makes another change it's the same part really um, here we build up on an A minor video because it's there's so much and I did I did a lot of work on making sure we get a lot of the details of the song again here's another uh, shot of the chart and when I edit the video I'll post it at the very end for you guys all right have a great day and all the best in the new year bye for now